Good morning everyone and welcome back. I'm really enjoying these early morning wake-ups at the moment. Get out here just before the sun's about to rise. I mean you don't really get wind in these creeks but hey this thing is looking stunning. Proper gorge country as we go up here. Even though it's not gorge country, looks like it. Um, obviously as you can tell out on the creek target's going to be Aussie bass. Well, two setups along, bait cast and a spin. One with a little top water cicada, and this one with a spinner bait. I'm going to be spending the whole day out here working along and hopefully cracking some big bass. That's the plan. Short intro, let's get into it. Let's quickly run over the setups before we get down to the water's edge. This is a Miller Rods Blade Freak RB, standing for river bass. Six foot six, three to six kilo, with a Daiwa Zillion S.5. Where's the actual size on it? I think it's a 200 or 100. And on the spin one, Miller Rods Brawler, Daiwa Certate. This is a six foot seven rod, two to five kilo. And I just gotta figure out how to get down, in one piece at least. We get a cicada nibble first thing in the morning around this log. Water's nice and cool. Let's see if there's one. Pool looks very shallow. Always worth giving it a cast though. Little bass. Yeah, he's still there. Look 
grab it, little buddy. so many micros all right I'm gonna call it here and turn back and back to where we started and probably go downstream these pools aren't getting any better looking I had one tiny baby hit so far out of heaps of K's walked that's bass fishing I guess Big track back. Just arrived and I can see fish feeding on the bank on the surface. Come on, gotta get an eat out of them. I knew I seen fish in there, chasing these little, I don't know if that camera, that camera won't even focus it, it's like these little grasshopper looking things, water bugs, I just seen him tailing, oh, didn't stick a hook, oh no, oh and that just snapped me, are you kidding, are you kidding, I can actually go get that lure, and I will, but for the time being, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to retie a leader anyway. So I retie and put on some other surface lure. It's pretty cool though. As soon as we get back to the start, typical. I think it's worth going a real small one. Look at that. I don't even know the brand of this thing, but it looks like those younger cicadas. That doesn't get eaten, I'll eat my hat. That boy ain't coming back. Damn. There we go. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I looked away and a good bass just came out. What am I thinking? Pulled it out of the water as a fish was going for it. What a wally. Good fish. Oh, I didn't even move that. Oh, that's why it pays to let it sit there a bit. <laughs> the sound on that take was so incredible. It's a nice little bass. Wow. Oh, he's a good fish. Look at that, on the cicada. Oh, that was 
so sick. <laughs> oh, it's got me frothing. That right there is four and a half to five hours of hiking. Went all the way upstream, one tiny hit, come downstream, noticed a bit more activity. Got our first little bite, or second bite off the top and missed it. And then yeah, finally pulled this fella. Right next to that log, just let it pause there for a bit longer than I usually would. Just about to give it my first twitch and he smoked it, so. Very nice, probably mid thirties. Give it a quick measure and we'll put it back in the drink. Happy days. There he is. What's that? 33. 33 tip, 31 fork. No brother. I'll take that. Still got so much water along here. It looks a lot better than up further. Don't think you'll have a buddy, but I can always have another cast. Might just try a subsurface real quick because there's a gap in this log. It drops pretty deep down and tucks underneath. So I'm just trying to think if I can sink this right in there, which I have. No fish? No fish. Oh, yep. Oh, jumper. Oh. <laughs> what a take on that thing. Buddy thought he was a trout. That was so epic. Didn't pin hooks. Hmm. Keep schmoovin', schmoovin', groovin'. Oh, oh, micro. Dude, that bass was like this big. Tiny little thing. Oh, that's a better one. No, 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 no. Oh, that's a very good one. Come on, brother. Oh. Man, these things pull hard. That is not loose drag. Still trying to go home. Had to be one under that undercut. That is a solid fish. Oh, good bass. Ah, that's how they always get you. Oh, got me good too. It's all right. Now we're even. I pinned hooks, he pinned a gill rake. Damn gallons. Alright, it's off. Calm down. Give it a quick measure. It's probably going to go 40. Maybe right on it. 38 and a half. That's a big old bass. <laughs> oh, that is solid when you put it like that. Love these fish. <sighs> yeah. 
I got no damage on that line. Lucky, lucky I was running a bit of a heavy leader. I mean, 10 pound is pr probably the lightest you should ever go for bass. I've got 12 pound on my other setup, but I know guys that are fishing 20, so. They pull hard, that's for sure. Yeah, right there is where I had that little baby one have a go. Chucked in expecting to get a little hit from him. And that big dog just come out for it. Fish just moved off the bank. Oh. Run that up right onto the shallows then. A few fish in here. Oh, don't do that to me. just sitting down having a peach for lunch I heard a bit of a rumbling behind me I thought it was an echidna so I quickly got up and as I got up um, it was a big as goanna and when I went over there to take a video of the goanna um, I didn't even notice there was a red belly sitting around the bottom of the tree so probably seeing that footage now these shoes aren't proper proper snake proof but if something bit at it I don't think it would go through it it's like um these sims boots come with like, how do I even say that? I'm trying to think of the word. It's like wetsuit material. And it runs up my leg a little bit. Not super high, but... So yeah, that's my little bit of protection. Against snaky boys. Also keeping a very close eye out as I'm walking along, as always. Made it about as far as I can come downstream for the time being. A whole bunch of cows all along in the water down far, so cows would have screwed that up. We're going to start heading back up. I'm going to change both lures, and we're just going to do a whole fresh set. See if we can convince any of those bass that I spooked, because I did spook three from memory. See if we can convince any of those fish or hits that we missed. All right, we're all rigged back up. Put on a chatterbait little seaman trailer with a top water plastic frog. I'm going to work our way back and see how we go. really want to tick off a fish on this rod. Got a Chris in it. I'm going to stick with this over the top water. Obviously I have to throw the top water at some bits because it's a very fun style of fishing. It's going to get eaten. Oh. Got hit. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, micros. Twenty of them. a death cast. Oh. 
Oh, Insta did me. Oh, okay. Oh, I knew that was a death gasp if I got eaten. Where are you going, man? What's the sticks you've gone under? Oh no. Oh, I've got no leverage on it. This might be a hand done one. Under something. Man, that was explosive. Still on. I don't know what he's caught on. I get this it's going to be an absolute miracle come out no 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 you're so close bro oh. come on come on oh there it is it's a good fish oh look at him <laughs> oh that's a good bass oh get off Hand reel. All right, I'm fishing fly right now, apparently. Then we've got a tip wrap. Oh, that's a PB. That is a stonker. Come around here, man. That was the most on edge fight. Oh, yes. You beauty. Check that bass out. Oh. oh, he's pinned well as well. Was not coming off. There we go. That's a 45er. For sure. Mate, check this stonker of a bass out. 43. That's, that's got to be my PB. I think my old PB was 41. You know what they say, walk the miles, get the smiles. And that guy right there is one to be smiling over. 43 centimetres of Skinny Creek Australian bass. Switch from that cicada to the frog, which enabled me to skip cast right up the back there. As you would have seen, I skip cast it the first time, no hit. Threw it back in there the second time, and this guy buffed it. Put me in all sorts of trouble. Big handline jobby, but yeah, we got it out. Super stoked with that. Makes today worth it. Oh, I can never get over these fish. That's a PB for sure. Piggy as well, eh? Got a bit of a belly on it. It's not super full. Yeah. One to admire. That was a very deserving swim right there. And also, I forgot I had this towel. It's what I wrap my camera around so it stays relatively safe in my bag. It's a bit of a risky, risky thing, but 
been doing it since I got the camera. It's been pretty, pretty fine. Let's assess this um crime scene of a buddy. Oh my, look at this reel. I didn't even notice that. I'm gonna have to change my leader pretty much guaranteed. Oh, almost put my new rod as well, almost completely dropped it off my back. Had it sitting in the back of my bag. And yeah, that fish got me in all sorts. Right in that gap. Alright, so it's wrapped itself underneath the reel several times. Hence the reason why when I went to spin it, it didn't spin. Yep. Got it. This eel's gonna come say hi. Hey, buddy. <laughs> My days looks like it's in attack mode. Look at this. Oh, that is so cool. Look at him right there. Wow. Beautiful thing. So you'll take the chatter, but a bat, buddy bass won't. Here he goes. Get out of here, mate. <laughs> I'll let you be. Last thing I want to do is hook an eel. Although it would be very good fun. Probably bite me trying to get it off. A casual guy. Ooh. Ooh. He's going to bite the rod. Ooh. Top water eel. Boof. Nah, he doesn't want it. Top water eel. Rod tip, big buffage, big no hook up, nothing happened. I'll check the time right now. I actually got out here, believe it or not, 7.30. I know, crazy, Josh doing an early morning wake up, it's not even that early. 4.08. Been a proper one. Went all the way upstream, didn't find much success besides one micro, micro hit. Then went downstream, found the fish. Funnily enough, they're all on top water today, and I still am yet to christen that new rod. So, I'm doing another bass mission very, very shortly. But till then, I think we head on out of here, get back home, get something to eat. I'm very, very hungry. Had two peaches all day, that's it. Woke up, nothing for breakfast, two peaches at lunchtime, and yeah, ready for a feed. Cheers all for watching. Like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you'd like to see some more fishing content from me. I'm just going to pop my Instagram up on the screen right here if you want to chuck it a follow or just check it out, whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm muddling everything. I'm getting out of here. Thanks all for watching and supporting me once again. Peace.